Hello RCers, YouTubers, Marshall, Budget Guy RC. As you can see, today we have a package. Now this comes to us courtesy of rcmoment.com. They sent this to me for review. There you go. It's the FQ777. Says it's the Mantis. Has detachable arms, Wi-Fi real-time video, number FQ20. Again, it says Wi-Fi FPV. It's got altitude hold, photo, video, one key takeoff, one key landing, headless mode. That one key return, which is just kind of comes back in a straight line from where it took off. Straight back. 3D flip. It has a switch for mode 1 and 2. It has speed control. I think it's a... I'm not sure if it's a 2 speed or a 3 speed. We'll have to check on that. You got a... Uh, as you can see, FQ777. A little pouch to put everything in. User guide. Tells you about how to install the app and everything. My phone's been acting up. So hopefully I can install the app and do that part of it. Otherwise, for the review, I may do just a flight video of the quad and tell what I think about it. Here's the actual manual to it. It's in English, so... Shows you everything about it. How to install everything. Tells you tips about it. Kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown. Your parts list, your assembly parts list. There's all that there. And then to look at the way it's packaged in the box. Big old piece of foam there. Then you got all this that holds everything in place. Oops. Fumble fingers tonight. Here you go. There's one arm. As you can see, blue. There's another blue one. Then you have your a red one. And you have another red one. And as you can see right here, it's got an unlock and a lock on it. So you push it in place. And then you lock the arm in place. As you can see, there's the little quad. There's underneath and everything. Oh, it does have an on and off switch. Right there. It does have prop guards. Right here. Which I won't be using. It has landing gear right here. Then it has USB charging cable, phone clamp that you hook onto the top of the controller. Your cameras right here in the packaging, right there. Your blades are right here. Your screwdriver to put everything on. Your controller. Now I like this controller. I like the way it fits in the hand. Alright, I went ahead and put it together. Off camera. Uh, I didn't put the prop guards on it. Beginners always should. But I at least know the basics of flying one. So, And I'm going to be in a pretty open area when I fly it. I'm not going to be inside. So I'm not really worried about it. But there it is. Put together with the arms on it and everything. I've already put the camera on. I've already put the landing gear on. I was going to run it without the landing gear because of these. Figured I could land on those, but not with the camera on. With the camera mounted on it, it would hit on the camera. So you have to run the landing gear if you're going to use the camera. Now, if you don't want to use the camera, you can just take the landing gear off and just land on the light pods. Uh, I went ahead and put the cell phone holder onto the controller. Charging the battery now. And then we're going to get this thing out for a flight for y'all. See what kind of flying it can do. And then we'll bring it back in here to the table. Give you a review of what we think of it. Now right now the only thing that aggravated me was attaching the camera 
to the battery door. Man, it's got some itsy bitsy, and I do mean itsy bitsy teeny weeny little screws that you put in there. Man, you can't hardly get a hole to them, <laughs> much less put them in. I wish they could be already started, like in the battery door, just sitting in there, and then you just screw them up in there the rest of the way. Hello, YouTubers. Marshall here, Budget Guy RC. We're fixing to do a flight review of the FQ777. By now, we're going to do the flying portion of it. And then we'll carry it back to the table and give you my final thoughts, review and everything on it. We're going to get ready and try to see if my phone will hook up to that app. If not, I'll just fly it for you. All right, we had to go to, got some wind blowing out here today. So we had to go straight to high rate. There you go. See, the wind's blowing it back. Well, that didn't go as planned, guys. I hit the landing button. Hello everybody, Marshall here, Budget Guy RC. As you can see, we're back on the table at the house. Uh, first things first, I, will, I again want to thank rcmoment.com for sending this out to me for review. Uh, what did I like about it? I love the controller. It fit real good in the hands. The quad's okay if you live somewhere where you basically don't have any wind. I had five mile an hour winds down there at the lake. And it was abusive to it. When I hit the land button, it just grabbed it and took it, pushed it backwards, and then the wind caught it and just threw it over there upside down. And all I did was match the land button. And it was it was taking it. And when I tried to correct it, it went whoops. It flipped over down there. It broke a blade. I didn't show that on camera. It broke a blade when they had that landing. So to me, I think the plastics need to be a little bit tougher on this you know give it a little bit tougher blades 
Because I've got other quads that I've crashed from, you know, like 20, 30 feet up in the air before it would break, break a blade. You know, if I was just 10 feet up, they didn't break a blade. On that note, I brought it back home, put a new blade on it, took it outside, and flew it a little bit more. I think maybe one of the motors wasn't quite up to par, because in part of the video you may hear it. You kind of got a, like a buh, 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 kind of noise, like one of the motors may not be getting full power. I'm not sure. I just could have got a bad one, you know. Could have got one with one defective motor on it. That wasn't putting out full power and maybe it didn't want to fly as good as it should. But I put it in high rates and it didn't want to fight five mile an hour winds. I brought it home after I broke the blade, put a new blade on it, and flew it in between my place and the next door neighbor's place to keep the wind off of it some. And it still didn't want to fly good. You know, it, just like it can't handle any kind of wind. If you're interested in this little thing, because it does, it does come apart. Remember, you can take the arms off. Take the blades off, take the legs off, put it in your little bag, and carry it around. It's got the old carrying pouch, and it does have a USB charger, so you can charge it up from your laptop or in your car from another device. Yeah, it's got some good points about it, but I, in my opinion, they need to work on the durability of the plastics, like in the blades and everything, make them a little bit tougher, because it wasn't that hard of a hit that it fell from when it broke the blade. Uh, apparently my camera phone wasn't acting right, and I'm sorry I couldn't get y'all any footage that day, but I will tell you this, it connected to the app, it just, I couldn't get it saved to my phone, you know, it was my first time using one like this with Wi-Fi, I couldn't get it to connect to my, you know, where it would save, but it did connect enough so I could look down and have FPV, you know, Wi-Fi. And I looked down at the screen, even though y'all couldn't see it for the sun when I was out there, so I didn't show it to y'all really. I looked down at it, and it was crystal clear, you know, as far as on the screen. But it did have a little bit of jumpiness in it, so you could tell it was going to have jello. Had it recorded, it would have had some jello. I'm going to get ready and get off of here. There's going to be a link down in the description to RC Moment, and there's going to be a coupon code for this beside that link. So if you want to pick one of these up, you can get a discount on it. But to me, I would say it's the size of it. If you've got a decent sized house, fly this in the house. Use your Wi-Fi FPV in there. That way you ain't got to worry about the wind. Because to me, I just don't see in anything above two mile an hour winds, I don't see this being a good choice for outside. That's my opinion. But I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Y'all have fun RCing. Budget guy out.